Hello world, my name is Mohit Despande, and in this video we're going to talk about tuples. So I think a great way to teach you about tuples is if I start by writing one. So I'm going to have this variable called sum tuple. I'm going to say something like So what I've just declared here is I've declared what we call a tuple, and a tuple is simply a variable that has many different kinds of types within it. So in this case, some tuple, you can see the first part of it is a number or an integer, and the second part of it is a string. And really, these tuples can store any permutation of values that you need. So I can, what we call, decompose this tuple by having a let statement here, and I can say something like sum int comma sum string equals sum tuple, and what this will do is this will take the integer and the string in sum tuple and put it into sum int and sum string respectively. This is what we call decomposing. But suppose that I really don't need some string, I really just want some int. Instead I can replace some string with this underscore. And this in this case only the number 14 will be put into some int. Now there are other ways to access these elements. I can access them using indices. I can say something like sum tuple dot zero and that will get me the first term in some tuple, the first element in some tuple. In this case, it's the number. Now you have to remember that these are zero, what we call zero indexed. That means that if you type in some tuple dot whatever, some like two, if I type in some tuple dot two, it'll actually get me the third element in some tuple. So zero index. So this index on it, zero, refers to the first element. Because if I type something like sum tuple dot one, that should print out the string. But if I type in sum tuple dot three, I'll get an error because there's no third element. And another way we can get these elements is if I actually name the elements. So I'm going to actually name this sum number colon and sum string colon. And now I can get these values just by calling their element names. So I can do sum tuple dot sum number, or I can do some tuple dot some string and I can return what's stored inside that tuple. So in this video we talked about what tuples are, how to create them, how to decompose them, uh, how to get their elements using either indices or the name of the element. I hope to see you all in the next video.